This is a combination belt disc sander that I designed and built. It's uh, been one of my most successful projects and I think it's got some ideas worth sharing. It's designed around a 12 inch sanding disc and a 6 inch by 48 inch sanding belt. Pretty much standard size is easily available. Uh, the motor was driven by a half horsepower motor, 1725 RP motor. <clears throat> On the front of the, of the unit are switches. One for the motor for the sanding belt and disc. And one for a built-in shop vacuum. This lever moves a deflector to concentrate airflow into the shop vacuum either from the disc because a flapper valve comes up and closes off the porting from the belt, opens the port from the disc, or in this position concentrates airflow from the belt down into the shop vacuum. The flapper valve closes the port to the disc center. Uh, locking knobs for a tilt table. The table tilts on a couple of trunnions, 90 to 45. The trunnions are designed so that the inner edge of the table stays close to the sanding disc at all, at all angles. And I've got a pointer and some degree marks for quick setting. Here we have a tracking control knob and a tensioning knob. Got notches on this little locking lever so I can tension it to different positions. And a tracking control knob. If I release the tension, the belt is easily removed. The whole belt sander module is cantilevered onto the cabinet, so there's no obstruction to removing the belt when the tension is released. Um, to do this, I had to, I couldn't find small enough pillow blocks that would pr permit me to slide the belt over them, so I made up pillow blocks with aluminum blocks and uh, brass bushings. Now they last a couple of drops of oil a couple of times a year, they last surprisingly well. Now, down here is the shop vac unit. The whole cabinet is, is a dust collector and the whole cabinet has got uh, suction from a shop vac blower and I put a lucite back on here to, sh to show uh, so let me look in and see how much uh, dust has collected and what the condition of the shop vac suction unit is. I've designed it so that the dust from the disc and the belt is collected in this area and goes into uh, an airflow that goes down around this deflector and back up into the, into the shop vac uh, blower unit. I've designed this so the space gradually widens as the dust comes down, so the air is intended to slow down, make this turn, and separate the dust from the air. The shop vac unit is from a salvaged uh, shop vacuum, flat top shop, shop vacuum, and it's accessible behind this door. Plug it, and the unit can be removed through this hole in the cabinet to brush the dust off of the unit.
Okay, on the inside of the door you might have noticed the styrofoam. Um, it's an effort to make a muffler for the exhaust unit from the shop vac. In this door is, is kind of a labyrinth pattern for the exhaust air from the shop vac. the noise to some extent. The sanding disc table. I mounted it on a couple of arms that are attached to the trunnions and the table can slide on the you know, slotted holes on these arms so that I can true it up to the disc or easily remove it for replacement of the disc. I have an attachment for the sanding disc for truing up miters such as for picture frames or cabinet work. And on the other side of this accessory I have a clamping device to hold the end of a broken bandsaw blade. I, I weld my own bandsaw blades and I find the uh, the secret to, one of the secrets of success is to have a nice long chamfer on each end of the broken blade so you get lots of overlap and lots of surface area for the uh, weld to adhere to. Another attachment is something I use with the sanding belt. It's a curved plate that I can clamp in place. for sanding long curved pieces. There's a, lot, a large radius and a little bit smaller radius. Disc table dismounts easily. And this is part of the dust collection system for the disc. This panel can be removed easily so you can get out the disc for changing it. And I just use a, a flameless heat gun to soften the adhesive, peel off the old disc and use peel and stick replacement discs. Down here I have a storage compartment for for discs and a little cubby hole for belts. I, I do have casters um, underneath this tool but they're rigid casters so I've uh, made up a platform with some swivel casters just to make it easy to spin the tool around and demonstrate it to you. This is my uh, combination, belt disc sander. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.